it's generally this part of the chapter that really fucking ruined it for me in this week's fairy tale. This is, like, not the reaction, though, I want to be coming off in a video. And I know, like, I know a lot of people already are saying, like, Panda, you fucking defend it to lie on fucking death. You know, you guys are probably fucking right on that part. But it really fucking annoys me so much, especially when it's, like, the, a chapter like this with Tagashi, where there's some genuine good in this one, and there's some stuff I really enjoy, but it is literally fucking ruined with the single page of this chapter, and it so upsets me. Like, it's been, like, not only, like, even as well with the second chapter that we had and all that, like, ever since, like, the movie came out, like, it's just been some stuff and all that to, like, ah, it just really rather fucking irks me, like, with this stuff, and I'm going to be getting into it as well with this ch whole chapter review. But also as well, we need to clear up some air as well about last week's chapter, since a lot of people was quite claiming I was, like, defending a lot of stuff. Now, I will stick to all that. I still like the Zara stuff. But in the nasty stuff, I still enjoy that. However, nothing with Athnologia has been addressed in this chapter. There was not a single bit about him. We still have, like, nine chapters until the finale. So that's something as well. So until then, I'm still keeping my observation about Athnologia coming back. It's no, that, like, I just want people to know if that is the case, if Athnologia is fucking done in that way, that was pathetic and shit. Like, I will, I will fully admit that. Like, I fucking will be disappointed as fuck because I do not want the Dragon King, the motherfucking Dragon King, going down to Ichia. Just unfucking acceptable. And it annoys me because this entire chapter is literally dedicated to, like, Zareth and Mavis at the end. Like, all of this has just been there as, like, Nasu leaves and, like, you get this really nice conversation saying, like, you know, I can't move a uh, single body, but, like, fuck it, I'm gonna heal up anyway and all that, just give me a few minutes, and, like, if we get to see Mavis and all that, just, like, having this real, like, harsh, like, moment where she's like, I can't forgive you, you've made everyone suffer, you've hurt my friends, you've done all of this, and it's like, and as someone that's the first master of fairy tale, that someone believes that bonds or families are thicker than blood, like, like there's nothing I want in this world that to erase you, but... I'm having this problem of saying, like, you're you're in the same curse. I can't, like, I wasn't able to stop you, even with all the stuff I tried to do. And I loved you, like, and you were everything I looked up to. I admired you. And yet, even still, like, you know, you helped me learn magic. You helped me found fairy tale. Like, you, but then again, you brought around my death. You imprisoned me. You also, as well, manipulated me to destroy fairy tale. It's just like, she's having this fucking harsh moment of, like, her, like, I hate you, and yet I love you. I fucking, I cannot, I am the only one in this world that can empathize with your loneliness. The only one that can even understand you, yet the, just the way that you did things was just so fucking wrong, Zareth. Like, you just, you could have just tried other things, and yet you gave up. And uh, that was where, like, she was just kind of lost it, and then it's like, yeah, you know, it's truly from the, uh, like, thought of you and all that. It's dear from the depths of my heart, I'll be able to, like, kill you and all that. And yet, that like, was my plan, and she's like, I don't I don't want you to die. She just starts breaking like down. It's like I want us to be together. Like please stay with me. Like it's r really like actual like powerful stuff that we get to see here of like Mavis having such a hard time and like just showing how like much she generally cared and like even as she's like crying on top of it and it's just like you know with the cu with the curse and contradiction as well. She's just like you know as he's going like thank you for everything, Mavis and all that. And he's just like beat like punching him and like I think it's like I keep screaming out you know like, I hate you I hate you I hate you you scream when you kill Macro, you hurt my friends, die, die, I don't love you, Nelly. She's just trying to deny it as well, as she's like crying her eyes out, don't ever show your face to me again, I don't love you, I don't like you, you're an enemy of the girl. It's like, she's trying to like, do that right. She knows she's in the fucking wrong. She completely knows, but she's trying to get through like that stuff as well. It's just like, and even as well, so she's like, so please die, but then as well, like, deep down, she's just like, don't die as well. And then as she sure fucking gets, like, right through the very end and all that, and, like, this is where, like, Zareth has get to be, like, the happiest he's probably ever been. He's like, I'm so very happy. I'm able to get some sleep because of this, and I wish I could have talked to you.
like, I wish I could have made things right with my brother. And it's like, no, you got to take me with you, Zareth. And it's like, no, you got to live on. Which I thought, like, that would have been really shit if she just left, like, Zareth like that. But the fact is, like, the, cur the curse is taking, like, as well with me. This is like, let's go together. It's like, and there's this moment where they're holding out. And it's like, even you get to see him, like, there in the fields as well and all that. Like, just being able to finally be happy together. That stuff, like, I actually really enjoy. Like, that. It's like the power that, like, even the Moors can't best. And all that. As cheesy as it is, fucking love and all that, which has been like that for a very long time in the series as well, which we thought like the, what magic kind of was and all that, it's because like always what it was referring to as well is that like, everything is, is born from like, you know, the, like, the love from another person or a love from another thing and that's how a lot of things are created like, and generally all of that is literally all of that and the second to last page completely destroys that chapter for me, where until then, it's an emotional chapter, it's really fucking good, even the spoilers fucking piss me off with it as well. The second to last page is Makarov waking up, survives like, Oh, what happened? I thought I died. It, oh, what? Straight up, I said it much more, I said in there, I'm not, fuck that, I'm not defending that. That generally annoys me. It was, it was even better because this one was like the one that was like the longest that someone fucking stayed dead for, but this is like, you've got ten chats on except I don't think anyone's gonna fucking miss, and I wanna know, like, if I ever, ever had that dream situation of meeting Mashima, and like, mainly as well talking to him, because I, like, even as well, this is no excuse for the guy as well, I know this is behind the sh uh, scenes shit as well, with editors, editors tell like a lot of things, where it's like, no, you gotta keep this character alive, no, you gotta do that, I know, that was a big fucking thing as well for the Tenrochima Island arc, that that was where he was supposed to die, and that would have been fucking great, because that was where he should have died. Now, whether or not that's still, you know, like, his fucking editor uh, putting his fucking finger in the pie right there, finger in that shit, or whether or not it's hair and is like, oh, I don't want to piss on off, like, the fans like that, but yeah, you can have this, a great emotional death and all that with Zareth and Mavis, and you completely ruin it with a single page. It's like, it takes me out of that, like, all those emotions that I was having for that entire stuff, and it hates it because it's like, god damn, I would have really thought this was a nice sweet ending, and it's ruined by a single page. It fuck, man, like, this is, and this is what, the people that are gonna be like, fuck here, Mashma, fuck this piece of shit, like, oh, that, Macro, that, no one dies in fairy tale. you're completely fucking right. You're completely right. And guess what? Because no one fucking dies in fairy tale. that's one of the things as well that maybe Agnologia's gonna fucking come back as well, because no one fucking dies in the series, so, it, I, uh, it annoys me, it surely does, and, like, I feel like it's still straight, like, strongly as well, whereas, like, I feel like the fact that I've enjoyed everything so far with, like, the Zara stuff, the Natsu stuff, and it seems like every other thing that's kind of gone on, and especially even with this arc as well, with the exception of maybe one or two fights there, has been so fucking weak, or just had problems, or, like, some bullshit, and it, uh, it pisses me off to no end, like, with this shit, and I fucking hate it, because it's, like, it generally ruins it, and I do mean that, like, that moment made me just go, like, when I first saw that page in the sports, I literally went, come the fuck on, like, why is this here? It doesn't need to be here, like, it's just to those people that fucking care about the old man, like, no one, like, no, a lot of the fans really do like that, I think he would, a lot of people would have respected him more if he stayed dead, like, you get a lot more of that character sometimes if they, their final moment is actually, you know, passing it on to the next generation, not just coming back once, twice, thrice, it Ay, ay, ay. And it's not just him, it's been Marvel characters arc, and it fucking annoys the hell out of me with this. And it's just like that, that, the, like, literally the phrase, like, you know, like, the straw that took the cows out, like, that, this is the one. And it annoys, and it's, of course, it has to be right at the very fucking end, and it pisses me off. So, yeah, there's nothing more I have to say about the chapter, except that I do enjoy the Xerath stuff. I think it's a nice, I know a lot of the, probably the Xerath and Mazer fans are going to get a lot out of that, like, last or the part with those two together. I think that's going to be meant, meant the world to them. But fuck me, I really wish that you guys didn't have to go through, like, that one bit of Makarov as well, because I generally feel this gut feeling of just, ah, uh, like, oh, fuck, sorry, like, where I'm just like, that couldn't be it. So, like, again, like, if I ever had the chance to talk about interview and all that, I would love just to ask that. But, of course, I'm going to get that fucking chance as well, but... 
But let's see what we've got for the next final odd chapters of Fairy Tale as well. Even with the cover page as well, having T-O as well. So we've got more of the message being spelled out for us. But that's all for me and all that. Let me know, guys, in the comments section down below. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.